to The Artist Detective, where we investigate the lives and art of the great artists. I am Rembrandt Van Doreen, your host, the Dutch master from the 1600s. Perhaps you remember my Bible scenes and portraits, use of light and expressions? Today, let's travel to France in the early 1900s. There has been an interesting movement in art going on in France, and one of the main artists is Claude Monet. Are you Monsignor Monet? Oui, oui, I am Claude Monet. Bonjour. I am an artist of the movement that is called the Impressionist Movement. I was born in 1840 in Paris, France. I knew I wanted to be an artist from an early age, so my father wanted me to join the family business of grocery sales and supplying ships. I was able to attend the School of the Arts in Le Havre where my family had moved. I used to draw caricatures until I met a local artist, Eugène Boudin, who became my mentor and encouraged me to paint landscapes in plain air, or as you see, in the open air. Indeed, landscapes, those are my favorite too. I am Thomas Gainsborough from England in the 1700s, known as a founding member of the Royal Academy of Art in London, and as well for my portraits with landscapes. Did you say caricatures? Ah yes, like portraits, which I, Rembrandt, paint in the 1600s in Holland. Oui, but I got away from the caricatures to paint landscapes. I like the natural world, and I got tired of imitating the old masters. What? It is all right, Rembrandt. We all studied you. I, Bertha Morisot, was barred from the art school because I am a female, but I often went to the Louvre, you know, the famous museum in Paris, to copy the old masters. I joined Claude Monet and Edgar Degas in this new art movement, but I brought a woman's touch with my intimate portraits of domestic life. As I was saying, some of my friends, you know, Renoir, and Sicily and Basile and I got tired of the colors and styles of classical art. And when the Salon, you know, the French art show, started rejecting our paintings for display, we created our own exhibitions. Our exhibitions started in 1874 and continued for about 20 years. One critic called our works Impressionism because he thought our artworks seemed more like sketches than finished paintings. But we liked his term Impressionism. We, we, we like to paint natural scenes using strong colors and short brush strokes and capture the natural light, sometimes making many paintings of the same scene at different times and in varying degrees of light to create an impression. We paint what we see with our eyes because of the effects of light on a landscape. Sometimes I have painted luncheon parties or train stations or cathedrals. But my favorite place to paint is in my garden at Giverny. Right now, I am working on a series of paintings of water lilies. It is a bit different from my landscapes and colors, most interesting. I, Edgar Degas, also am an impressionist, so I like painting and doing sculptures of ballet dancers and the theater rather than 
of landscapes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your influence on me, Vincent van Gogh. I liked the colors and the shimmering effect of light of the Impressionists that you painted what you saw with your eyes. You made me want to paint with bright colors and textures too, though I am considered more of a post-impressionistic painter. I see you spent time in Holland, my birthplace, and painted flowers and windmills there. We, oui, I also spent time in London, painting the Houses of Parliament and the Waterloo Bridge. And I even went to Venice with my second wife, Alice. Did you ever paint portraits? Oui, a few. My first wife, Camille, was often a model for me, as well as my children. But my portraits often contain landscapes, like Gainsborough. How fine, old chap! Leonfant, let's review about me. Repeat after me. Claude Monet. Claude Monet. 1840 to 1926. 1840 to 1926. French Impressionism. French Impressionism. Natural scenes in natural light. Natural scenes in natural light. Quick brush strokes. Quick brush strokes. Au revoir. Thank you for joining us on The Artist Detective. We look forward to seeing you next time when we investigate the lives and art of other great artists like me and Monet. Who knows, you may be the next great artist. Remember that Ecclesiastes 3.11 says God has made everything beautiful in its time. Until next time, Rembrandt and the Artist Detective.